four uh, different types of pathogens were described in earlier videos that can cause pneumonia. These uh, were bacteria, viruses, mycoplasma, and fungi. There is another cause which is known as chemical, but we are not concerned about it at the moment. So, what are the differences? Bacterium is a complete form of life by any definition of life. Fully functional and independent in a suitable environment, they have complete cellular structures including cell wall, plasma membrane, cytoplasm, nucleoid, which means something like nucleus but uh, not nucleus. They are capable of surviving by consuming food around them. They can also die starvation. Virus is a basic form of life rather than complete and independent form of life. They have to have living cells as their homes or host as we call them to consume food and multiply. In the absence of these hosts they can remain inactive for years. They lack several structures found in other forms of life and are incapable of performing several functions performed by bacteria independently. However, they are very clever in whatever they do. A virus can remain inactive for years in the absence of a host. When it enters a host, it takes over host functions and it starts growing in number. They then destroy host cell membrane and move out to find other host cells to continue the same process. They are covered by proteins as compared to plasma membranes in human cells and cell walls in bacteria. Unlike bacteria, a virus is only active when replicating within a host cell. Another difference is size. Viruses are much smaller than bacteria. Uh, the other difference is the way they grow in numbers. A bacterium can simply divide it into two cells by using a process known as mitosis. A virus simply cannot do that. A virus has to enter a host cell by using appendages, uh, spike-like things on the surfaces, and they take over several functions and start growing in number. Once they are enough in numbers, they simply damage cell membrane and move out leaving a dead cell behind. They find other host cells to do the same. Uh, as described before, viruses are covered by proteins. Bacteria have a cell wall and a plasma membrane. Mycoplasma. Mycoplasma is uh, Again, one of the simplest forms of life found on Earth. It simply does not have a cell wall. It does not need a host to grow in number. Because it does not have a cell wall, it cannot be classified as bacteria. And it does not need a host to grow in number, so it cannot be classified as virus. Fungi. Most famous form of fungus is mushroom that is used as food. Most people think it is a plant, but biologists will disagree to it. There are several differences between plants and fungi. A fungus does not use sunlight to prepare its food. The way fungi reproduce is also different to that of plants, and different types of fungi use different types of reproduction processes. Also, fungi can be unicellular or multicellular. Some fungi produce spores which are equivalent of seeds in plants but these spores are produced asexually. Some fungi use the process of mitosis. Several fungi are very useful but some can produce deadly diseases like aspergillosis in lungs and other skin infections. The lecture is prepared for academyofprofessions.com and the references are written in this slide. Thank you very much.